Hi there, I'm Julian Barker, Sound Street Chiropractic. I'm here with Becky, who's just telling me that uh, she's pulled her right arm and bashed her left knee falling down the stairs a couple of days. Everything's basically okay, we're just gonna run through and check. So I'll run through the basic scan and then we'll check her right shoulder and left knee and see what we find. Okay, so good. So jump uh, right knee up first, we'll get up with the good one. That's it. Okay, what, uh, do we know what your PD normally is? Uh, no. Okay. okay, so turn your head all the way to the right, and then all the way to the left, back into the middle. Okay, so in position one, Matt is sl uh, sorry, Becky is slightly short on, um, on the right leg. When I bring up into position two, you can really clearly see how she's dropping away on that right side. So possibility two usually comes with a tale of trauma, but we already know that, so um, let's get stuck in. So put your left hand up behind your back. Okay, and back down by side. Put your left hand up behind your back. And back down by side. I'll do it one more time. You can see that, that how that um, right leg is really dropping away there. Um, okay, and so I'm gonna adjust L4 on the right side. Top of the iliac crest, come across onto L4. Okay, there we go. And uh, so two things happening. One, that's up, coming up nice and level. And hopefully Becky can also feel how your legs have just gone all loose and light. Yeah. Me too, good. So um, we jump straight up to T12. Let's get out of that area now it's changed. So right hand up by your face. Good, big deep breath in and out. Left hand up as well. And both back down by side. So that's a very fair T8 coming up on the left side. Okay. Turn your head to the right. Lift the right shoulder off the couch and back down. Shrug both shoulders up to your ears and back down. Okay, squeeze the right elbow flat against your side and let go. Squeeze the left elbow into your side and let go. And again, very clear, I'll just do it one more time. If you squeeze your right elbow into your side, just hold it there, it'll really pull it now. You can see how that uh, left leg comes up, long right leg goes short. Um, relax the arm and shrug your shoulders up and roll them back. Head back into the center. So we've got a right medial scapula. It's pretty common anyway, especially with uh, right-handers. I take it you're right-handed? Yeah. Yeah, well done. So whether this was uh, anything to do with uh, your acute attack of gravity and the stairs, I don't know. But the point being is that uh, if we can adjust this and clear that, then um, things are going to settle down a lot quicker. Good, just lift up your head and back down. And tuck your chin down to your chest and back to centre. Good, just push your face down into the couch and let go. Okay, just 
Stretch your right hand towards your right knee. And let go. Left hand to left knee. And let go. Okay, lift the right hip up off the couch. And back down. Same on the other side. Lift up the left hip and back down. That's okay. So those are L3 tests and uh, worth checking if there's anything going on with the knees, but that seems to be okay. Just run through left knee. So we have an um, uh, anterior proximal fibula head. So I've got my finger on it. It might be a little bit tender in there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's one of those spots anyway. And uh, line of drivers posterior superior as much as you can. It's worth just checking the kneecap, which tends to, if it's going to subluxate, it'll be either inferior or lateral yeah okay I'm getting quite a very clear lateral patella uh, medial patella should I say yeah really does not like me pulling your kneecap inside there okay we'll come back to that in a minute let's just double check the shoulder so um with the uh, i grabbed hold of something as i was falling down the stairs same as uh, uh the dog caught me it tends to in my experience it tends to be infraspinatus that gets irritated or pulled so let's just drop the arm off the side and with your hand push up towards your head that's it and let go that being yeah, there you go. Okay. So, three points of adjustment on the shoulder. Similar-ish to that medial scapula, the difference being it's straight P to A. Uh, and these will be tender spots. There's one of them. And for those that are used to feeling trigger, trigger points, or muscle knots or spasms, there's the second one. If I had to call it, I would say that was the best one so far. And yeah. Am I on it there? Yeah. Yeah. And there's the third. Okay. So let's adjust that uh, medial patella. So carefully, over onto your back, no falling off the couch. Remember, it's the left knee, which is that one there. And so just a medial patella. Got the patella here, just kind of come onto the side. I'll do it on setting three. And we are just adjusting straight lateral. Bit of bruising in there. And uh, kneecap runs on grooves, and you get a bit of swelling bruising there. You can just kind of, it's not be running smoothly. Um, and just that stimulation, just calm it down. So good. There we go, so that was some, some additional knee and uh, a rotator cuff muscle adjustment on Becky, who's clearly done herself a bit of mischief. <laughs> Good, whilst well, you steady up your cuff. See you next time. Thanks.